Hey Lady Vol fans, I'm Cassandra Novi and welcome to another episode of Lady Vol Access. Well, it's been second half play as of late that has helped the Lady Vols get their first two SEC victories over South Carolina and Georgia. In this episode, we'll catch you up on both of those games as we talk to senior Tabor Spaney. Then we'll get an inside look with the video coordinator for the Lady Vols and wrap things up as we see what's going on off the court. Well, now we are pleased to be joined with senior Tabor Spaney. And Tabor, the Lady Vols are off to a great start in the SEC, going 2-0. Can you kind of just walk us through how the team's performance was against South Carolina and Georgia? Well, it was a really big week for us. Obviously, those two teams were ranked opponents and uh, very tough opponents. Going out, south, out at South Carolina is always a, you know, a really tough place to play. And um, you know, they had beaten us the previous time we had played them. And so that was a huge win for us. And then to come home and play in front of a really great crowd on Sunday and um, you know, turn it on in the second half against Georgia, it was really huge for us. Tennessee welcomes Missouri here on Thursday night. And what does it mean having your home state come in since you are from Lee Summit, <coughs> Missouri? Well, it means a lot. Obviously, I feel like it was a perfect year for Missouri to join the conference, and especially that we get to play them both here and then um, go to Columbia in a, you know, in a few weeks. And so it's always fun. It's always fun to play against, you know, some somewhat familiar faces. And, um, you know, uh, it's just I grew up in the Big 12. And so, you know, Missouri was always, you know, kind of a huge rival of K-State, which was kind of, you know, my team because my dad played there and my sister. And so it's always fun to, you know, kind of play a familiar team. Well, thanks so much for joining us. Absolutely. It's time to meet the final member of the Tennessee staff. From grabbing film and editing to shooting video, Michael Fahey plays a key role in the Tennessee squad. Hi, I'm Michael Fahey. I'm the video coordinator. I do a lot of editing with our scouting, uh, doing a lot of team edits, and then preparing the scouting reports for upcoming games. Uh, I think it prepares uh, both the coaches and the players with what we need to do uh, for our upcoming game and opponents and stuff like that. It also helps our team uh, watch film on themselves and realize what they need to, to get better on and what they, they're doing well at. I watch a ridiculous amount of basketball on both ourselves and our opponents and I just enjoy that. As well as working with our staff, I really enjoy uh, getting to know the players and the team. My average day um, it depends whose scout it is coming up. Uh, if it's a uh, Joe Ladd or a Kyra scout, I'm probably drawing up tons of plays on our opponent. Uh, if it's Dean, I'm helping him with video as well, a lot. He does a lot of video work. Uh, I do a lot for him, uh, just getting him set up with what to watch. Uh, but I'm usually just in my office, clipping up, editing tape on opponents, making it clean for our coaches to watch. I love Tennessee. The tradition here is unbelievable. Uh, being from Chicago, coming down to the south, it's just unbelievable hospitality here. And then just, I come from a professional town where the Bulls, the Bears, the, the Cubs, coming here, it's just Tennessee. And it's all about the volunteers and I love it here. As the Lady Vols dive into SEC play, let's check out some things that are happening off the court. Lady Vol assistant coach Kyra Elsey was recognized by the SEC as Tennessee's honoree in the 2013 class of women's legends. The class will be honored at the SEC women's basketball tournament March 6th through the 10th in Duluth, Georgia. Want to win two free tickets to the SEC championship game? Fans can participate in the SEC's Twitter hashtag contest by sending in their ideas for a hashtag that the SEC will use during the tournament. The winner's hashtag will be used throughout the tournament, and the winner will receive two free tickets to the championship game. For more details, go to secdigitalnetwork.com. Starting Thursday, January 10th, and for the remainder of the season, Lady Vol fans will have the opportunity to post with one of the NCAA trophies. Be sure to check out utsports.com for more details. With their first taste of SEC play in the bag, the Lady Vols will continue to face conference foes in the next five matchups. On January 10th, the Lady Vols play Missouri at home at 8 p.m. on Sports South. Then they'll hit the road to face Florida on January 13th in an 11.30 a.m. contest in Gainesville on ESPNU. 
Well, that's it for this time, Lady Vol fans. Be sure to cheer on your Tennessee team as they welcome Missouri here Thursday night at Thompson Bowling Arena. We'll see you next week.